Okay, this is my homemade set works from my timber harvester that I built here. Um, you see we've got eighth inch, quarter, half, cancel button, button to account for the curve, one to hold the last cut. So when you're cutting your can up, you can just push that button and then you do your half up and you push your next cut and it's, it's already there. Um, we're just using a little RC motor to simulate for the encoder right now, to just to simulate the saw movement. Um, we're doing it on an Arduino Uno. I've got a terminal board on top of it there to break it out, make it a little easier to wire connections. And then a couple of relays, I don't know if you can see them. We'll show them to you in a minute. Okay, so now my saw is at seven eighths of an inch, which is where my saw is when it's bottomed out. Um, so we're gonna move it up to 16 inches, push our go-to button, and up to 16 inches it goes. Now, I want to go back down to, say, 8. Push my go-to, and it takes me back down to 8. Now, if I want to do a 1-inch cut, I just put 1 inch in there, and I push cut. Gives me a 1-inch cut. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to program my cut so I don't have to remember to do the 1-inch every time. So I'm going to hold that set button about 5 seconds. Now it's programmed. There's an inch, there's another inch, there's another inch. This electric motor overshoots a little bit because it's way faster than the saw, where, saw is. I don't think I'm gonna have that problem once it's on the saw. Um, so now we're gonna take it back up to 16 inches. We'll start over, we're gonna have some room to work here. Now we'll do a cut. Every time it does a cut, it saves the position. Now we're going to tell it to use that position for the next cut. So we'll do a cut. Do our half up. Now we'll do another cut. It drops it down to 12. We're at 12, 8, 5. Do our half up. It was actually at 12. You can see where it updated there. Now we're going to do a next cut. Drops it down to 11.85. So it remembers where it was and it drops it down an inch. And now we have a button here that accounts for the curve. So when we do the cut now, we're going to drop down a little more than an inch. Does to account for the saw curve. And that's pretty much it. We got all these holes here for the original buttons. When I get this put on the saw, um, I had a little bit of a problem with the encoder not being able to transmit the full length of what I needed to get it to put everything up into the box. So I've got some wire coming. I've got some special wire, 24 um, conductor wire coming to run up through the saw so I can put the Arduino up on the saw where it's close enough to this for the uh, close enough to the wires here for the encoder to pick it up. And that's about it. We'll do another one when we get it on the saw. Thanks.